Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. Behold, one of the goats of Ultimate Team history. Scream Busquets. What a promo that was. I miss you, Sergio. You were goated. Um, for anyone wondering what this promo was, if you wasn't around, and what the point of this video is, is to talk about promos in general on FIFA. And it's up timing with it being Halloween tomorrow. This genuinely was one of the best promos ever. It was called Scream Team. And this man here was the go of it. Updated five years ago. Rest in peace, our beautiful soldier. So basically, the point of this video is that nowadays, I think promos are pretty dead. Lack of creativity. They don't really do much to change them. Not that there's been loads of amazing promos in the past. But there were some really good ones. And this one was one of them. And I miss it, and I'm going to talk about it. So, we had a Sergio Busquets that, historically, Sergio Busquets was always quite slow on FIFA games, um, as you'd probably expect. But for this Scream team, the idea was that cards would get updates where they would get a 99 on one stat and a 90 on another stat. And then by the end of the year, they were getting 99 on two stats. This was FIFA 19. On FIFA 19... Long range first time shots were really OP, especially with finesses. And this Sergio Busquets, I think. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today got 90 pace and 90 shooting the first time and it updated it updated i think like once a month but it just made it so it was a fun promo the card stayed relevant throughout the year they updated and so they started getting 299s and this card was a genuinely crazy card that you could enjoy throughout the year and there was other cards in the promo i can't remember them all let's see if we can find them to my screen team fifa 19 This is a Twitter account, is it? There you go. So, those are some of the cards with the Sergio Busquets. He had 90 pace, 90 defending at first. You had a variety of 90 shot, 90 pace. Diego Costa, Pepe. A lot of, like, classic cards that historically people wouldn't really care about. The Fellaini at times was really good. You can just see, it was quite different. Not a lot of the classic cards you tend to expect to see in a FIFA promo, but it just stood out, and it was genuinely a fun promo, whereas nowadays, the promos are pretty damn awful, you don't really get a lot different, not sure what I've clicked there, um, they're always pretty much the same, we'll go back into actual FIFA now, but if we look at, um, yeah, click to go to, it just takes me to, uh, what you call it, um, the store, that's everything that the pro all the promos revolve around now, but Let's just get. I've started a PC Road to Glory, by the way. You can see me stream that live. Um, let's just look at some of the promos that we've had. So, Total Rush. If we look at these cards, all it is is literally like a plus one or two on every card, basically. Then None of them have anything different. The Road to the Knockouts, just a plus one, and then they've got chance over a few months to get upgrades. We've had this promo for years now. It is almost identical. I, I quite like those promos where we get some sort of dynamic upgrades based on real football, but they're very samey. Trailblazers, literally the same as last year. The only difference is this year players can get a plus plus player role instead. Again, it's a cool promo in the sense of it's based on real football, but there's a complete lack of creativity. And the problem I find with every single promo basically is that every single promo just revolves around um, uh, some cheap cards that no one wants and then some ridiculously expensive cards that no one can afford. And if we look at Bon Matty, <coughs> let's have a look at a card. This is on PC, to be fair, so the market's even worse, which is 4.4 mil. Let me have a look at um, what you call it. I want to have a look what she is on console. I mean, she's 2 mil on console, so she's still a crazy price. But on console, she's 2 mil, 
and she's 150k normally. So the point basically stands that these cards are just absolutely ludicrously priced in comparison, whether it's console or PC, compared to what they are on other promos. Um, it's because the pack weight's just so bad. The lack of creativity, we've got things like Rush now, where they could put cool stuff into that promo. We've got, um, they could put tournaments in, they could put things around champs, they could put some fun objectives in. They just really seem to just rinse, repeat the same formula every year. And honestly, it just gets a little bit boring. I would love to see a promo again like Ultimate Scream. Obviously, we're not getting it this year. Um, they're just fun and honestly, for me, improve the game quite a bit. Um, one promo as well that we used to see that was pretty good was the uh, Footmas one. Oh, they call it, what is it, Ultimate Freeze. It's been awesome for years now. Footmas, we used to get a, um, an SBC or two SBCs every day for years. It, uh, as in every day that for the first 20 odd days of Christmas. For a few years that promo existed every time. It was great. I don't really get why EA got rid of it. It was a lot of hype. Surely it can't be that it's just too much work. Because the, it, the game makes a billion plus a year. You could pay a thousand people and they'd still be making crazy profits. So I don't really get why the game's gone backwards somewhat in terms of promos and creativity. I feel like there's a lot that EA could do with the mode. I do understand it's a business. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach. Like they're probably thinking, well, these promos, a little effort, make a lot of money. I don't know. But for me, the game could be drastically improved with some creativity. The promos bring some hype back. Ultimate Scream had something for everyone. The pro players found some really good cards that would out of nowhere suddenly be really good to use. The cheap end cards were really good. They were fun to trade with, but a bit of risk. Whereas nowadays, I just know every promo that's coming is pretty much 99% likely going to be. There'll be some cheap cards that are okay, but not that good. There'll be some insane cards um, that are 10 times more than their normal versions. And I just can't afford them. The pack weight's really low on them. There's nothing too different about them. And I also know we're probably just going to get a second week of that promo. We've had two weeks of Total Rush. We'll get a second week of uh, Trailblazers. Whatever the next promo is, we'll probably get two weeks of that. It's just rinse, repeat, formulaic, and really not very exciting, to be honest. Um, never mind the fact that everything just gets leaked on Twitter beforehand. Um, yeah, I don't know. For me, it does kill the hype a bit. There's a lot that they could do to make the game a lot better, in my opinion. Just don't know if you have the motivation to do it. What do you think? Do you remember Ultimate Screen promo? Are there any promos that they don't have anymore that you would like to see in the game that you think would make the game better? As always, appreciate your feedback and comments on the videos. Keep it spicy. I do hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.